Good morning, everybody. I am uh, delighted to welcome you to discover with me what's new in Odoo Discuss. So to begin, I will leave you a few seconds to scan the QR code that you have displayed on the screen to ask all your questions that we'll be reviewing together at the end of the session. All right. So today's presentation is divided into three parts. First one is, why is Odoo Discuss amazing? We'll then dive right into the database, see, uh, see how to discuss in action, and we'll then conclude and review all your questions. So without any further ado, does this picture feel any too familiar to any of you? Receiving tons of messages from so many different messaging platforms. I'm talking emails, direct messages from all over the place. And whenever you need to actually retrieve something, you never know where it was sent. That's pretty bad, right? But let's put all that misery behind us with the integrated Odoo Discuss app. So you'll ask me, why is it amazing? Well, as I said, it is seamlessly integrated in all the Odoo apps. You can retrieve it from everywhere. It centralizes all the internal and external communications on all your documents and apps and users, of course. The whole thing while allowing both video and chat messagings. So now, thanks to Odoo 19, you can elevate your team's productivity even further thanks to the exciting new features for Odoo Discuss. The main one is the roles. You can now notify multiple users at once by mentioning a role, for example, business analysts, developers, salespeople, you can create those and assign all the users you'd like into it so that within seconds, all the necessary people are aware of what's going on. You can also now receive push notifications when uh, you receive a call invite. You can preview your camera to make sure you look amazing every time. There is also the brand new picture in picture mode just to make sure the video call never gets in your way again. You can define an availability status, so you let the world know if you're available. And linked to that, there is also a brand new time of integration, so that whenever you're out of the office, you let the other people know that you won't be available. So now, without any further ado, I suggest we jump right into the, uh, the database. A little bit of context. Let's imagine I'm Victor, project manager for a software company, and I work on different projects with a series of developers, business analysts, customers, you name it. It's the beginning of the day, and I'm just opening my database. So there it is. First thing I'll be doing is make sure my availability status is correctly set. So at the top right corner, I'll be clicking on my profile icon, scroll down a little and find the status right here. So it's correctly defined on online, but should I wish, I can also put it as away offline or do not disturb. In any cases, incoming messages will be coming in, but should you define it on do not disturb, all the notifications will be turned off. So online it is, that's great. In your database, there are actually three main ways you can retrieve all your discussions. The first one is at the top of the screen. It is the discussion icon, if I can put it like that, where you can retrieve it from everywhere in your Odoo. Second one are the ongoing discussions that are floating down there on the right. But the pièce de résistance, if I can put it like that, is the discuss module up there. So by opening that, what do I get to see? It's the whole discussion dashboard of, uh, of your profile for the whole database. I can have at the bottom left corner right here, the inbox, the new messages or mentions that have been made to my user since the last time I check. What do I have here? I have Addison sending a message from a task. Right. It seems that she's mentioning a uh, colleague of mine, but because I'm follower of the task, I got it anyway. Oh, 
which is asking to make the air tiles description shorter. Let's check that in a second. And I see a message from James. All right, they're good to go, that's fine. What I can do now for the, the message from Anderson is I can star that message so that I can save it for later in the start message folder right there. This allows me to retrieve all the messages I need to, to act on somewhat later, whenever I need. There's also the history, so that all the, dis the discussions and messages that you received in the past can be stored and uh, found again. Right then, we have the different discussions mode. In, in order, we can retrieve three of those, the channels, group messages, and direct messages. Channels are like group chats, but on a specific topic, where people can join in or opt out, depending on their um, use, user access rights. And when I say users, it's even external users that can join and interact in channels. You also have group messages. Those are a little bit more private, only for internal users. And finally, one-to-one -one direct messages. In here, you will also be able to retrieve all your WhatsApp communications, SMS discussions, and live chat. But more on that somewhat later. Great. So, I see that there are unread messages in my Ferguson's project channel. All right, what's going on? Harrods just letting us know that the latest push was a success. That's amazing. Let's react with a little emoji just like that. John Jack Doe. Yep, telling us that he'll be reviewing that shortly and even left us a little voice message. Right, there doesn't seem to be anything in there. Might have been sitting on his phone, who knows. Okay, what I can do in here is use that brand new, brand new raw uh, feature. For example, letting all the developers know all at once that are... Uh, uh, it is great news that the push was a success. So I can hey at developers. Many thanks for the push. Let's keep up the great work. And all like and just like that, all those users have received the notifications that I've sent them a message. Those roles can be defined in the configuration menu of the Discuss app right here. You can create as many as you want and assign all the users you'd like. You can even assign portal users into the role so they can get notified as well. Okay, now, coming back to Addison's message, let's see what's going on. So, as you can see here, whenever I receive a message coming from a, um, a from a document, I can open it directly like that, and I see indeed that this task is that the description is just way too long. Let's call a colleague and discuss it with him. So I open discuss again, and let's call James. Let's see what's going on. So from the top right corner, I can start a video call just like that. Now, for technical reasons, James won't be able to join us today, but let's imagine he's there with us. So, hi, imaginary James, how are you doing? Let me share my screen as well. Like so. And then use the picture in picture mode so that it doesn't get in the way. Right. So now let's go in onto the task in question. As you might have heard, James, we received a little complaint about Edison that our task descriptions are just way too long. But you can ask Fabien's brand new best friend to give a hand. So let's, for example, log a note and ask the AI assistant, let me move you elsewhere, to summarize this task. And it's going to be thinking for a little while because you guys wrote a novel in there. That's great. So now I have my summary and 
I can directly use the content of it into the log note I'm trying to, to create. And here again, I can notify the business analysts. Yep. Please keep your descriptions concise. And I log it. But, so I, I log the note, I could even send a message to Addison. Once again, using the AI, I can ask him, write an email to Addison, rising this task. Again, thinking about it, because it's very long. And once, and right here, I can use it again, my email that the AI has tailored for Addison and send it across, right there. How cool is that? So James, I hope you've learned something with me on this one. Please use our new best friend and see you next time. Cheers. All right. Now, what we can see now, what we can go and see is how it looks on Addison's side of things. There it is. So, Addison is a portal user and I've shared the project with her so she can have access to it. The Office Design one right here and it's Black Chairs for Manager. And she can see right here my message. Because I've sent her that, uh, that message, she will have received it with a link that can take her directly onto this task. And she can, right here, answer to my message. Hi, Mitchell. Many thanks for this. And send it across. On my end, it will have been received in the inbox of my Discuss module. Right here. Also can be retrieved from the discussion icon up there. Cool. So now, if I open another module, let's say CRM, and I go around and try and see what's going on, I see here a quote for 12 tables, and I see that my colleague Maurice it is assigned to it. I'd like to see what's going on with it. I can click on his icon, but oh, damn, Maurice is on leave. He'll be back on September 22nd. That's no biggie. Let's try with someone else. I see my colleague Mark up here. All right, and send him a little message if that wants to work. All right, it doesn't. Anyway, you can retrieve that out of the office widget actually everywhere in the database. Same here. Hmm. Apologies for the inconvenience. Oh, now we're back. Right. So, as I said, sending a message to Mark from here opens the little discussion window on the back Hey there, and sends the message across. No, okay. So about the, going back to it, about the out of the office widget, this one can be retrieved from many different places. So if you are on a task in a chatter, you'd like to log a note mentioning one of your colleague. If I say at Maurice, I see I have the info right there as well that he won't be available before the 22nd. Okay, Maurice, I hope you'll be well rested. Back in Discuss, another very cool feature I'd like to show you is when I'm in a channel, or any discussion really, I can use the slash command with different actions that can be performed. For example, slash who will ask Internet connectivity issues again. Uh, 
Oh, and this one I'm alone. Great. And what about this one? See, I do bot just answered me that there are plenty of people in here. But I could also, for example, slash leave and I'm gone. See how cool is that? Now, what have we learned? The key takeaways for how to discuss is that it is, is that it is the centralized communication hub for your database. We can retrieve all the communication from all the different documents and apps, either internal or external. You can retrieve the discussion channels, WhatsApp, SMS, live chat discussions, internal direct messages and groups, the works. But you can do all that using video calls and uh, audio calls, of course. So, I invite you to join my colleagues tomorrow at 3 p.m. in Hall 7D to discover what's new in live chat and how to handle those live chat conversations efficiently. In any case, I thank you very much for your attention. If you haven't done so already, please scan the QR code, shoot all your questions, and we'll be reviewing those in a second. Just how we receive notifications on Odoo. Right. There's a, the main way to do it is to access your user preference settings. I'll show you right now. Is to access those preferences. So on the top right corner, you have My Preferences, where you can define either if you'd like to receive notifications within Odoo or by email. And would there be a limit for group video calls? Well, there is, but it's so high. Um, it's, we're talking in the hundreds that you won't have to worry about it anytime soon. Can we also video call external people? Yes, we can. As I said, if you are working in a channel, depending on the access rights that you are defining, for example, if I have the administrator's channel, I go into the advanced settings and I have the authorized group. Those are access right groups. Should I, should I remove the whole value in there, it will be accessible for anyone with the link. And you can indeed invite external users. There's a link uh, that can be sent by email to them so they can join. Thanks. Can we link a me meeting with an Odoo video conference? Yes, we can. Actually, if you open the if you open the calendar, you create a new um, a new a new event. You can simply add a video, and the link to it will be uh, added into the invite. Thank you, Victor. That's it. Okay, I wish you all an amazing Odoo experience, and uh, see you at the product service booth this afternoon. Cheers. <laughs>